sparked by a conversation that started on the internet on YouTube, which is, hopefully I'm answering this correctly, um, some people are drawing with their Wacom tablet and they probably have also brushes and they have these loose pieces and can we create a clipping mask with that? And usually it's one piece per clipping, so one vector on top. And there's a couple of different things we can do. So grouping won't work, right? So if I go here, select it and then go to group and then my vectors on top and if I select this and I do command 7 it's gonna give me something really strange and you can see how everything turned white that's not really what we're after let's do that one more time even if I go to object rasterize doo -doo -doo -doo. now I make that whole orange piece go to the back and let's see here multiple piece in the front command 7 once it's selected you can see how my whole object is not visible. So what to do, what to do. There is a way that we can, instead of grouping it, I'm gonna just ungroup this, I can select these pieces and I can say under object, compound path make. So when it's a compound path, it's gonna act as if it's one shape. And then when I send this in here and I make a clipping mask, you can see here that it's now actually showing the color. So that's already an advantage, but it's not showing the whole skirt filled in. Well, we're going to talk about that in a moment. So here's another piece. I'm going to release the compound path that I had here before. So here's a piece and there's another piece. And once again, this is my orange. Let's pretend it's a fabric that I want to clip in there. And these two, it's like a avant-garde sketch of a skirt. I'm going to go to object, compound path, make, so it acts as one. Um, make sure that it's on top of the orange, select it all. So click and drag over it and then command seven. You can see for this one, it actually filled in the entire shape. We do lose the fancy brush that was around it and we can only replace it with a stroke and we can shape the stroke a bit. Okay, so unfortunately, one of the things that we can't do on the compound path clipping mask is put any of these brushes on it. Here is one that I drew with pressure sensitivity and the pressure sensitivity is pretty much like a width profile. So you can see how my stroke width varies. Um, I'm not using a brush for this one. And once again, here is a piece and here's another piece. And there's another piece. And when I put them together, I'm going to select those three pieces and I'm going to say object, compound path, make. So it's gonna look the same, but it's gonna behave as one. So select them, command seven. And you can see here that the clipping mask runs again is not filling all the way in. That has to do with the way that you draw the objects when you first start. And we're so used to drawing by hand that when we see the lines closing visually, when they are close to each other, we think that it should fill in. But it's not like that Illustrator understands it in the way that the fill goes in. So if I select these pieces and a quick test of how your clipping mask is going to fill in, this is just to give those lines a fill. And so you can see right here is the fill. So this piece, if I fill this with a regular color, you can see how it's closed. And this piece right here, if I fill it with a color, it's also closed. So therefore, anywhere there's color, we will be able to see the clipping mask. So once again, let me just doodle something quickly. So maybe I want to work with my paintbrush and I'll just trace quickly over one of these skirts. So you want to make sure that, that your doodle, so I'm going to just draw all the way around the waistband. So you can see here, when I fill this in, there should be color all the way in here. Versus we could draw the same thing when we draw without fill. We don't really notice it. Sometimes people just want to draw a line, let go, draw another line, let go, and draw another line, something like this, right? And then we hope that when we group it, that it travels as one, Control and G. But the quick test, once again, is where does the color go? So you can see here that there's a little bit of a curve, so the color 
the fill goes only in there. <sighs> I hope this all made sense to you guys. Um, make sure that you practice closing your object. So once again, what's a closed object? Here you have a beautiful closed object color all the way in versus if I deconstruct this, copy, paste to front. There's a line, copy, paste to front. Here's another line. So as much as we wish and wish and wish, <laughs> you can close your eyes, blink your eyes three times. It's not gonna change it, right? Even if we put them so close together. And if I transform, reflect, copy, and let's move this over. If I draw this on paper, this would be closed, right? Because there's no gaps. But for Illustrator, this is still open path. There's a way of quickly converting this to close, but I think I'll stop right here so we can all take it in and just work with what you've learned, create clipping masks, create compound paths, test it out with your fill, and then let me know if there's any questions on this topic. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Like the video if I went too fast, slow me down by asking me a question. I'll go over it again, right? If you have any photos of what you created with this, hashtag flatsketch52, subscribe to the channel, get your free files, all of that good stuff. As always, I hope you have a great week and see you next time.